I didn't know about that before, but now you know. Eh, you know, you've been in the game for some time now. <laughs> you know, the only thing about you, Sev, that is, I would say, that is sad, is that all this time you didn't release music. So, when you come back in the game, it's like if nobody knew you because it's been so long since you released a track. It's been like, Last time you released a track was, I don't know, 15 years ago. That was that was a track that I produced. I, I don't know. I, I, wrote, I wrote that track. I don't remember. But And I've seen this with a lot of artists that they do some work and then things go bad with the label. And I don't, I don't, I think you were assigned to Section Zook, if I remember well, directly. And whatever happens and things don't, things don't compute and then you don't do nothing for all this time when you come back and especially in these times everybody kind of moved on and the and not only people moved on but Nowadays, it's so hard to build a brand because every day there's 60,000 new songs. So building a brand is harder and harder and harder and harder. And when you release your song, there's so many songs at the same time that you like, your song get lost in the sea and, and then people abandon. So if I'm going to give you an advice and we're gonna work on a track together uh, if I'm not too late because these days I'm doing so many things at the same time you know I'm, I'm doing five albums so imagine if I have a if I have a piece of advice for you is don't think about success the way we used to think about success back in the days when you release your first album uh, at that time, success was having one hit. Because thanks to this one hit, you would then, you know, go and do a lot of shows and that was success. And people have people would buy the album just because of that one song. Today, you have to trust the process and the process only. Today, it's about the process. Today, you're gonna do one song. It's gonna do whatever number it does and you, you see those numbers and you're like, okay, I make I made a thousand streams. Cool. Next song. And then 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 you have to create your fan base or recreate your fan base one by one. Because those people on the internet, they have the choice. And what makes them come, what make them come in one place or the other is the brand and what is the luck we have those who who stayed active for all these years is that we build strong brands and those who understand that like me the people who have vision they understand that as long as you have a good brand you can sell anything you can sell music you can have people come to live stream give you super chats like these guys here you can you have um you can do movies you can write a book you can do anything and people trust what you say because your brand is solid and has been there for a long time and because you have you have been absent of the game for a long time you're gonna have to recreate that brand and it's never too late but you have to have the patience to understand that it might take months or years to go back to the, to the levels or to create new levels on a completely new market. So I really hope that you have in mind and that if the first song is not whatever you think it is, yeah, it's just because it's one drop in the middle of the sea and the only way to exist today in the sea is to build islands. And you build islands with a lot of songs. It's not one album. It's not like, no, you have to do a lot of songs so that 
slowly, slowly, your brands come back and then, and so it's not just about the music, it's about the music, it's about the videos, about your YouTube channel, it's about your Instagram, it's about your tweets. That's how you build your brand today. So I hope that you don't come back to the business with this idea of, yeah, I'm going to do a song and, and it's going to work like back in the days, blah, blah, blah. 